welcome back out to a camp. I'm I'm with a YouTuber. I'm with a proper YouTuber now. We're gonna we're gonna have to try and be very well very well behaved. It's a it was quite strange. I did a little introduction for Sandy and very unusual um, you know sort of talking not to myself but to someone else's camera but we're, we're down on the we're down on the North Moors I don't know you can be down on the North Moors <laughs> that would be south wouldn't it but anyway you know what I mean we're on the south we're on the North Moors so many of you will be familiar with them but you've got a brat tour up there and then that's doe tour sharp tour hair tour and i can never quite remember what that one is over there you've got arms tour here so we're basically going to head west on this trip inland and find somewhere to camp we've brought sandy with us so we've got another human being uh who's come out with us so sandy while you are on camera what has possessed you what illness has happened to you to agree to, to come out with me <laughs> well, i don't know i've got a question of my sanity <laughs> yeah <laughs> no i don't know it's nice to nice to escape uh, wheelchair for a bit and to be honest with you i am I haven't got a car on the road at the moment, so I rely on motorcycle for transport or push bike. And uh, to come this distance from home, it's just a bit far, you know. So yeah. when Tony offered the, the lift, I thought, well, I, I can't turn that one down, can I? <laughs> so. <laughs> so Sandy came to my house, met me there, and then I've driven him. Why? <laughs> Driven him up the wall, I around the bend. I did offer to pay his petrol. Yeah. <laughs> I was feeling generous. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're heading, we're heading down. We're gonna have a little river to cross down here. And you know, more ponies. All right, well, this is, Rattlebrook. That, that, that water down there is drinkable, isn't it? That water, that water would be drinkable, yes, yeah. in my opinion, anyway. Yeah. Everyone else, please filter your water, don't blame me. But yes, that water is, yeah. is perfectly drinkable, for sure. Any, any water out in the middle of nowhere yeah. is, in my opinion, fine to drink. So we've got Bleak House dead ahead of us. Uh -huh. So that's Bleak House through there. I'm also dead ahead of you. You were, yeah. <laughs> yes. So just beyond, yeah. just beyond Sandy, dead ahead, is Bleak House, which is slowly starting to fall apart, I've noticed over the last few years. There used to be a, a chimney on it, and I think that fell down sometime in the last five years or so. I was wondering where Lassie was as well. There she is, down there. Yeah. Down there, down by the water. <laughs> you down by the water, Lassie? Top of water dog, isn't she? She is, yes. She's the ideal dog for these sort of... Uh, She's perfect for this. this yeah, definitely. Yeah, to be fair, that's why I that's why I got her, really. I thought, you know, <laughs> get, an, get an outside loving dog, you know, exactly for this. It doesn't need wrapping up and molly coddling too much. That tour over there, come back to my memory now, I think that's green tour. So that's green tour there and then this one up to the left, I think that's part of mm -hmm. uh, Great Links tour. It's probably got another name but it's like the, the end of Great Links. But it probably has a different name. And that's Rattlebrook. I think it's called Rattlebrook. 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 Yeah, I just think it's called like Rattlebrook Brook or something. Yeah. I'm not quite sure offhand. Yeah, it's a good job we stayed on this high pass so, yeah. because there's not really anything down there. I think we'd have ended up having to come up this way. And that rain seems to have 
passed over now, thankfully. Well, that's bleak house in rather bleak weather. And that's Sandy having a little look around. So make sure you check out Sandy's YouTube channel, Sandy Wiltshireman, Jack Law Knives. That might have been, I don't know if that was part of the chimney. Oh god, we've got some miserable old weather. Anyway, we kind of, we were following the path along, so we're going to try and pick up the path on this side, because we want to go right anyway at the end, so we'll pick up the path and then head that way. And the, and sand is coming exactly the right way. I, of course, came that way through the wet, boggy stuff. But of course, sand has come the right way. I didn't even have to say anything. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> well, somewhere over in the mist that you can't see is uh, Lintz Tor and Dinger Tor over there somewhere. Yes, tour up there, and Sandy was most impressed with Kitty Tour. <laughs> this, this tiny little bleak place here. Yeah, there's not really very much here, so we're gonna head. I think that one over there is Stenger Tour. Uh, it's over that one, all very close anyway. But then we've got to get down to the river and camp, so we're very close to. We're very close to camp now, so we can get undercover and out of this cold, wet rain. Yeah. It really is. My fingers are really getting quite cold and numb, and this is the middle of June. This is crazy weather, and that's even down here, down south. Yeah, it's well, really quite high, though. It's quite high. Yeah, yeah. it's about what, five. I don't know. Was it five hundred odd meters here? Yeah. Something uh, like that. I never quite remember, you but yes. Some... For my flying days, you get something called the adiabatic lapse rate. Right, so okay. For every so many meters in altitude you go at, then it gets colder. It gets colder. Yes. Yeah, I can't yeah exactly. Ratios, no? yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's certainly colder up here than it was down by the car, but down camp is a bit is lower down than this. So hopefully it'll be a little bit it'll be hot and sunny weather down in camp. Yeah. <laughs> hot and sunny weather down there. As is usual for me, I, I lost, well, I didn't really lose the path, but I, I couldn't remember how to get down here because it's been like three years since I was, I was last here. So I have to admit, I, <laughs> I've taken uh, Sandy on a little bit of a wild goose chase because we kind of went over that way first, kind of that way, because I was thinking the path would take us down from over there, but the actual path we wanted is somewhere. I think you can actually see it going up over there so i'm only probably about a kilometer out from, from where the actual path is it probably does go right up to kitty tor um but i i couldn't remember where it um where it went from but anyway camp is down there there's no one down there there's not a soul in sight so it's not as if we're, it's, it's not like that dave allen sketch the funeral sketch with the coffins oh. when i don't know whether you ever saw that but it's like a load of coffins and and they're all trying to run to the funeral parlor to I get there at the same <laughs> yeah. so we're gonna have to try and work our way i'm gonna have to try and not lose the wiltshire man yeah. in amongst all all of this so if sandy does disappear then you, we need to search for him if somewhere I, if here. I disappear we fell into some glitter <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's fallen into the glitter which apparently is this stuff here yeah in fact that even looks like a bit of glitter that one there doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> no no <laughs> Right then. Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna carry on down here, and Tony's gonna keep his mind clean for for one second. Oh. oh. Well, we. Well, we're coming down through here, and we've literally we've kind of come down through this stuff, and I highly recommend that you do not do that. It is very holy. 
it is very swampy it is very rocky very stony it is <laughs> it is really not the way to come down here at all so <laughs> but we were kind of committed so we kind of thought well we've we've got this far so we may as well carry on but oh god it's uh because camp is <laughs> it's literally just over there we are very close to camp now it's just a shame that that no part of the way down have we had a path at all it has been just and oh, my foot's gone down a couple of holes and sand is done really well because he hasn't even got poles i've got walking poles which has helped a lot yeah there's a yeah. A dead oops a dead sheep there and there's a bit more yeah the unforgiving nature of the moor isn't it it is yes it doesn't take prisoners it doesn't and this no. is not a nice area this is really we we, we have really come through yeah. the worst part just down here so we're almost at the campfire. yes <laughs> yeah it's just literally that green bit down there we don't even have to cross the water so we're, we're we're virtually there now but yes it's certainly been a challenge getting down here and we haven't quite <laughs> we haven't quite finished either yeah. we've still got all of this stuff to get through and i can hear water running quite close and there are quite a few holes mm. everywhere this is we're heading over this way aren't we yeah yeah we want that green over there so <laughs> Oh. So even here, it's uh, it we got another hole. Big hole. Right. Just down here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here. <laughs> we're right. <laughs> we're right in no man. <laughs> God, we're right in bloody no man's land again. So we've got hole and flowing water there. We've got hole and flowing water there. You need to be very careful I didn't bring e oh God. I didn't bring Lizzie with me because the weather is too cold it's just cold and wet it's really not Lizzie weather and e and now we've got to try and get <laughs> and we've got this huge hole down here so we've got to step over there and then try and get over there so I'm gonna put this down and concentrate a minute. <laughs> Alright <laughs> we got pitched eventually that was probably not the best advertisement for the trail sir but <laughs> once we got it pitched it was okay it's my fault i haven't pitched it for ages and you do have to have a little bit of practice at doing it but once it's pitched and you've got it in the right place the problem that i had with where i was trying to pitch it first is when i've pitched in this spot before the rain has been coming up the valley and then this little flattish area has it kind of goes up slightly that way um, but it's it's better when it's um what am i trying to say but because the, the wind is going this way then my head needs to be that way and it's, it's downhill very slightly so i'm actually also going to make one other slight change as well i'm actually going to make it a little bit lower in here as well before i before actually actually that side i've got no i'm okay because that side is is away from me anyway i see yeah because that side um that side isn't anywhere near me it's this side that's near me and i think i'm gonna be okay there so no i think i'll i think i'll keep it 
at this i think i keep it at this height so that's on nine and that's on two there just so we keep an eye that this pole doesn't slip i probably should have bought the flick knotty ones but we'll we'll see how it goes should be okay welcome into welcome into camp it's uh it's 20 to 8 i don't know where the time <laughs> went i left my wind shirt in the outside pocket so it's got damp so i've put it on and i'm kind of hoping that my body warmth and the down jacket you know helps to dry it out a little bit i think it will and one other slightly annoying thing is the bottom of my sleeping bag got a little bit damp um because this i've turned it inside out this cuban waterproof bag it's it let water in which is, i've never um noticed or never had that before i don't know whether the tape is giving way there or whether there's something going on in the corner there with the tape I'll, uh, I'll have to have a look at that when I get home but it'll be okay for today and tomorrow but that's a little bit annoying Lassie has uh, found a tent peg see and she's playing with my socks and, oh lassie licking the socks to death yeah hey, lassie good girl sit there you've got you've you've had your food it's over there we've got to get the kettle on we got to get the kettle on i brought the mosquito net just in case there were any bugs but, I used it as much as anything to put the cooker, put the cooker in. So what we've got here, this is this is brand new. So we've got an explore your cooker. We've got a bit of tin foil to go on the ground. I got this from America. So this is the. Uh, so this is the. 570 Avenue pot is ridiculously expensive and you have to buy the top separate which is even which is as expensive as the pot almost it's so you know <laughs> and the weight that you say because they don't send they don't sell the pot with the lid because it's called a cup because it's a cup um, a cup mug or a mug bowl thing um, then they don't sell a lid with it but anyway we're going to get that we're going to get that on okay there's Idaho mash I'm thinking of having Idaho mash and John West tuna and this needs 475 mil 475 and the pot is 575 so <laughs> is that about five a 475 maybe we need a little drop of water maybe not much more i think it's going to take a lot longer to it's going to take a lot longer to boil than that uh, jet boil not jet Pocket rocket. Oh. Ah. It's a little bit of a, <laughs> it's a bit of a mess, but that's Idaho. All of the Idaho mashed potato. I may as well finish it off. And toppers. So obviously the toppers is it's a little bit heavier because it's obviously you know it's not dry tuna but it's only a short walk and kind of eating it now means i'm not carrying the weight tomorrow 
and that's not bad. Whether I'm going to run out of toppers <laughs> before the potato, I don't know. Oh, it's it's 20, 20 to 10. It's been raining on and off. The wind's been doing a swirly swirly thing and there was a little bit of damp getting in at my head end so I put my kilt up as a makeshift door and as you can see there's just a little bit of dampness down there but this keeps it away and very cosy in here oh. I am getting a bit tired of this. Of this wet, miserable weather. I will be happy when we actually get a little bit of sun. But I've got tea. So, what else could one ask for? I'll try and remember to show you around camp in the morning oh. Oh, it's definitely cool though it's not um it's not this fucking coolness oh my god i will be glad when we do get some nice weather though from what I can tell, I think it's going to rain in the morning and then sort of maybe about 11 when we plan on moving. Because it's not a million miles to where we're going, it's probably about six, seven kilometres. Um, and when we get, when we get moving about 11, we'll probably be like three hours. And we'll get into we'll get into the next camp. We'll find somewhere anyway. Anyway, I will show you around in the morning. So if you want a view, want a view, make sure that you watch the next episode the next day. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Thanks very much for watching.